Hi guys, I am back. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to record another video. I've been, you know, busy and running around trying to get to recording because trust me, I miss recording. So um, I'm back today. Um, if my lighting looks a little funky, which I think it's okay, but if it looks a little funky, it's because one of my lights went out and I have to order a bowl. So today I want to talk about the proper heel to wear to open call or to a casting. Um, I get a lot of questions about heels and how tall they should be. There are also styles that are good to wear and there are also styles that you should kind of stay away from. The first style is the classic pump. Now a pump is good just to have in your wardrobe as an everyday piece. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. Um, usually about three inches is good. Three to four inches if you can walk in a heel that tall. But this is good because it goes with everything. So a black pump is perfect for open calls and castings. Next, I just have an open toe to sandal. See, it has like a little knot here. So it kind of has a little bit of style to it. But take a look at the heel. So the heel is really thin and it's really tall too. I think this is about a three and a half inch heel. So this is also another good shoe. It has a sling back on it and it's comfortable to walk in, which is really important. I'll talk about that a little later. But it's comfortable to walk in and it gives you that height that you want as well. Next, I have a little booty. And this booty, as you can see, has a little styling in the front, a little gathering, and then the heel is really high too. So this is like a three and a half inch heel once again, and these are really comfortable to wear and to walk in. Those three styles are styles that you want to, that you do want to wear to an open collar to a casting because they're all tall. Let's see. And they all have that really thin kind of spiked heel, which is what you want so that you have that height that you're looking for. Now I'm gonna go over some styles that you want to stay away from because they don't really help you gain the length that you want. So first we're gonna talk about a stacked heel. And a stacked heel just kind of looks like this. It's chunky, um, which I've talked about this before in my other video of what to wear to open call. But the chunky heel, oh, a little piece of hair. The chunky heel doesn't really make you stand up straight because it's, you have so much support here. We tend to slouch when we're in these type of heels. Um, and also when you walk, it tends to clink and hit the ground like this versus gliding. So you want to stay away from a heel that's chunky like this and also doesn't really elongate your legs. It tends to make most women's legs look a little bit thicker than what they really are. So you kind of want to stay away from yours. Of course, with all that you have, go for it. Next, we have a kitten heel. <laughs> now, there are some obvious reasons why we don't want to wear this to an open call or a casting. Um, first off, it is really, really short, which means you're not getting that height, of course, that you want. The only people who would be okay with wearing something like this is a girl who was maybe like 5'11 or 6 feet tall, because then she doesn't want to look too tall. So if you're Anything below 5'11", you definitely want to stay away from a heel that is about an inch tall. Doesn't do you any justice. Last but not least is the wedge. When it comes to being able to glide on the floor and being able to do your runway walk, you definitely cannot do it in this type of shoe. So you want to stay away from the wedge as well. Here are the three don'ts. So if a special request has not been made of you, like to wear a tennis shoe or a ballerina flat, then you always just want to go with, you know, a basic three and a half inch heel or taller if you can walk in them. Only walk in a heel that's comfortable to you. Now I say three and a half inches, three and a half to four inches is a good place to be, but if you're not comfortable in that shoe, when you go to an open call or to a casting, that agents or the directors are definitely gonna know. So if you're more comfortable with walking in a two inch heel or even a two and a half inch heel, it's much better to go with that than to wear a heel that you're not comfortable with walking in. I think that's it for heels. I will also do a video on how to walk in heels. Um, 
which can be a little difficult. Thank you guys so much for sending me your questions. Uh, I'm going to be adding a few other elements to my channel, so um, stay tuned for that. So until next time, bye!